What are you doing? I'm trying not to die. <laughs> As Smooth. I say that, I fall. Smooth. Feels like about forever since the last time we were able to do a hike without jackets and cold weather gear. Wasn't that like three years ago? Eh, it's probably been about six months. I thought it was three years ago. Hmm. Today our plan is to head up Hedgehog Mountain. It's early April. A week ago these mountains were covered in snow. Today it's probably going to hit around 70 degrees, so there's still a little bit of ice and snow around us. It's going to be hot. But it's a pretty warm day. We're ready for a little bit of mud. There's supposed to be some pretty sweet overlooks today. Some nice views. Hedgehog itself, looking at the topographical maps, is actually a lower mountain than a lot of the surrounding ones, so we'll be looking up at some other mountains, but we'll see how the uh, how the view is once we get up there. And there's several of them, so the way that the trail looks is we're going to go up pretty steady, and then once we get up to the first part of the summit, we kind of come around the back side and then get some more ledges on the other way and a slightly less steep descent or more drawn out descent than when we go up. So we've made a quick stop off at B. Allen's Ledge. Uh, so we are not at the top yet, not even really close. If you look up through the trees up here, that should be Hedgehog. And there's that second smaller bump over there. That's the East Ledge. So we'll be going up to the top of that and then over to the second one before coming back down. But in the meantime, this is a great place to stop and enjoy a bit of view. What do you guys think so far? I need to pour water all over my body and I will not stop.
We're now at the top of Hedgehog. This is as high as we're gonna get today. We deliberately took the more uh, uphill of the options on the loop to get here. Uh, Distance-wise, a little bit quicker. Uh, Height-wise, it was a little bit faster. So a bit harder of a climb, but now the last three miles or so as we circle our way around the top of the mountain and get onto the other side and then make our way back down, uh, it'll be a gentler downslope and an easier way back. We've got some dark clouds overhead, which is providing us with some nice shade today. It's not supposed to rain, although those clouds are dark enough they could bring some uh, some moisture. I don't think we'd mind. Uh, we'll talk to Ari in a minute, but I'm pretty sure that she's in agreement with me that these are much easier when it's 20 degrees out and covered in snow. But at least there's no bugs today. It's too early in the season for us to get swamped by those. Just some very nice views here. Some small planes overhead. A lot of traffic noise, much more than we're used to. But it is very nice. It's been a beautiful day. Okay. The hike was very hard. It's easy. And that mountain would be much tougher. Um, did you know that if you you can light Doritos on fire and then it can make a fire so you can see. I thought the hike was really good overall. These um, hiking poles made it much easier to go up because during the beginning of the hike, I felt overheated until these beautiful clouds came in, which makes life much easier. I hope it rains. It's a natural bonsai tree. A natural bonsai tree.
it started to rain a little bit on the trail and there was a couple that we passed a little while back and they don't have GPS. There's been some blowdowns on the trail and we stopped because this particular blowdown that we're, we're actually enjoying uh, having a seat on right now is, um, I mean, with the GPS, I could figure out where the trail was after it, but we had to walk a, quite a ways around it. And uh, we've been here for probably, what would you say, 15 minutes now? I think it was 10. Yeah, and we haven't seen them yet. And I'm worried that they might have gotten turned around back there. So I think what we're going to do... Is head back. Is we're going to turn around and see if we can find them and try to guide them back over here. Uh, which just goes to, you know, if you're going to go on a hike, you got to be prepared for it. I wasn't really too worried about rain and stuff today. But um, we're pretty big on running GPS trails. Uh, we have a membership at alltrails.com. Uh, so we download uh, maps and run GPS during all of our hikes so that if we run up in a situation where a trail isn't marked very well or, or there's been some blowdowns and the volunteers haven't had a chance to come and clear them out yet, we've seen a whole bunch of other ones that were cleared. So uh, we are going to turn around and see if we can find uh, those guys because this is... It's starting to get late. Girls? It's after five o'clock now, and uh, this is not a good time or place to get lost in the woods. Yeah, it will get dark. All right, let's go, guys. Mission accomplished. We didn't have to backtrack too far. Maybe point two miles, if that. And then we found them. They did get lost, and we caught them in time to show them around the blowdown, so they didn't get lost a second time, and then. Uh, we just outpaced them a little bit after that, but the trail here is super clearly marked, so no danger of anybody getting lost from here. So we're just about finished. Five plus miles today with the backtrack. <laughs> and uh, that was awesome. There was so much time walking around on ledges and things probably one of the prettiest hikes we've been on. Trailhead that way. We're used to doing these in the cold. So I will say that this one for the distance and the climbing felt a lot harder than they usually do. But there's a difference between having to scramble over rocks and roots constantly yeah. and hiking in 20 degree weather, which constantly cools you off versus 60s, 70s, you break a sweat and it doesn't go away. The hot air is definitely Scrambling good. around. So, still, we made it. None the worse for wear. Had some great times sitting on ledges, enjoying the breeze, the beautiful weather. Rained a little bit towards the end, which was... Nice. I'm not going to complain, because... <laughs> I would have appreciated a downpour. I wish it rained more. But yeah. then I could fill my water bottle. Blue cheese. Anyways, pretty good hike. I'd probably suggest that summer or winter. Those valleys probably look especially beautiful in the fall. Get ready for a crowd. The parking lot was overflowing when we got here today. So plenty of people. There's more than one trail. Uh, but. Yeah, good time. We'll give you guys the stats in the credit roll. Other than that, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>